Hello YouTube, this is Algebra 1 and of course practice exam for the Florida exam starting with number 39. I'm going to try and finish the test in two parts uh, from here on out. So number 39 asks which of the following is equivalent to 48x squared plus 24xy to the fourth minus 12x squared y to the fourth. Now each of our answer choices has factored out 12xy squared. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I've written it under each term just to remind you that you're dividing from each term. You don't factor from one and, and, and then uh, stop. You have to factor from each term because we're adding and subtracting. So uh, 48 divided by 12 is 4. x cancels with x. y squared cancels with y squared. Because I factored out a positive, I keep my sign plus 24 divided by 12 is 2, x cancels with x, y to the fourth divided by y squared is y squared. Keep my sign minus 12 cancels with 12, x squared divided by x is x, y to the fourth divided by y squared is y squared. And that is choice A. You'll notice there's only one choice that has four and then and then the proper sign when I, when I'm factoring out a positive. So, you know, if if I were pressed for time uh, and you you really won't be for this test, um, there are there are some shortcuts there. Assuming x does not equal 0 and y does not equal 0, what is the quotient of 12x6y squared plus 8x to the fourth y cubed plus 4x squared y to the fourth all divided by 4x squared y? Well, x can't equal 0 and y can't equal 0 because x and y are factors in the denominator and we can't divide by 0. 12 divided by 4 is 3. x to the 6th divided by x squared is x to the 4th. Remember we subtract our exponents. y squared divided by y is y. Keep my sign. 8 divided by 4 is 2. x to the 4th divided by x squared is x squared. y cubed divided by y is y squared. Plus 4 cancels with a 4. x squared cancels with the x squared, y to the fourth divided by y is y cubed, 3x4y, 2x squared, y squared, y cubed. Now again, c is the only choice that has the, the correct first term, so if we were rushing, um, you know, it would be possible to stop there. A wooden garden tray has a base area of xy square inches and is filled with soil to a certain height. The tray contains x squared y plus 10xy squared plus 12xy cubic inches of soil. The height of the tray is represented by the expression x squared y plus 10xy squared plus 12xy divided by xy. Let me rewrite that. Which expression below is the correct simplified form of the height of the tray? Well, the height of the tray is represented by this, okay? So we, what we want to do is simplify this. So this whole setup is uh, not necessary. But you do need to read the problem to discover that it's not necessary. So when I divide this, x squared divided by x is x, and the y's cancel, plus uh, 10 divided by 1 is 10, x is cancel, y squared divided by y is y, plus 12, x cancels, y cancels, and this is choice B. If x does not equal 3, which of the following represents x, oh, let me rewrite this, x squared minus 9, over x squared 
minus 3x. Sim simplify this is what it wants. Well, x squared minus 9 is a difference of squares. Factors 2, x plus 3 times x minus 3. Factor an x from the denominator, and I get x minus 3. This cancels, and I get x plus 3 over x, which is choice D. Now, this choice A is actually similar to this one. It's, it's not choice A because we don't have any negatives here. But I could further factor this x over x is 1. This would be 1 plus 3 over x. Okay, These are equivalent, so we'd have to look for either one of these. Uh, in this case, it's this one. And x cannot equal 3 because it would make our denominator 0. And division by 0 is undefined. Which ratio represents the area of the smaller rectangle compared to the area of the larger rectangle? Well, now we do need to set up a little bit because the area of the smaller is going to be x times x plus 2. And it, they're, these are ratios, but they're expressed as fractions. So the first thing mentioned, the, the smaller will be the numerator and the larger will be the denominator instead of sort of small to large this way. So this is 2x times x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, I'm going to factor the bottom. Well, I'm going to sort of cancel these x's, so I'm left with x plus 2, just in the interest of time. 2, and this is going to factor to x plus 5, x, x plus 3, x plus 2. Sorry about that. And you can kind of, normally because these are exercises, they're test questions, but they're still exercises, when I, when I have x plus 2 up here, one of these is probably going to cancel. So this is 1, remember it's not 0, it's 1, over 2 times x plus 3. Choice B. Uh, basically solve for x. Uh, if x plus 8 over 5x minus 2 equals 3 eighths and we're going to cross multiply 8 times x plus 8 equals 3 times 5x minus 2 and then we're going to uh, distribute 8x plus 64 is equal to 15x minus 6, 7x, subtracting the 8x, and this is going to be 72. Let me look at that again. 8x plus 64 equals 15x minus 6, 15 minus 8, I have 7 here, 64 and 6 is 72 over 7, Seventy. I can't add today, I'm sorry. 70 equals 7x divided by 7 divided by 7 x equals 10 and it looks like on this test we'll line it up on the left hand side sorry about that everybody okay for what value of x is 2x plus 3 over 5x plus 3 equal to 2 fifths cross multiply 5 times 2x is 10x plus 15 equals cross multiply here 10x plus 6 uh, if I subtract 10x from both sides I'll get 15 equals 6 that's not a true statement the answer is the empty set or no real 
numbers. Assuming x is greater than 0, which of these expressions is equal to? 11 times the square root of 245 x cubed plus 9 times the square root of 45 x cubed. There are radicals on your test. If there is sort of any good news, it looks like there aren't cubed roots or, or higher roots than that. Okay. So let's see, 245 is 49 and 5. So this is Forty-five is nine times five. Okay, so I pull out seven from this forty-nine. That's seven times eleven is seventy-seven. And I pull out an x. I pull out two x's. One shows. That takes two from here. I'm left with five x. I do have some uh, operations with radicals. Some vid a, a couple videos posted on this. Plus, okay, square root of nine is three times nine is twenty-seven square root, uh, x goes here, I take 2 out from here, 1 shows, left is 5x, and this is what we want. And I'll get 77 plus 27 is uh, 104, 104x root 5x. Okay, assuming x is greater than 0, uh, because I can't take the square root of a negative number, what is the simplified radical form? 4, 5x root 3 over square root 48x squared. Okay, the top looks pretty simplified. Let's see, 6 times 8, 12 times 4, 16 times 3. Okay, 5x root 3, square root of 16 is 4, comes on the outside, square root of x squared is x, comes on the outside, square root of 3, root 3 is cancel, x is cancel, I'm left with 5 fourths, or 1.25, 1.25, 5 fourths. When they give me these numbers, it, it seems to me that I, I need... Uh, a numerical answer. Well, I need an answer without any variables in it. I need a constant, I should say. All right. Uh, again, I know these aren't very legible. Which of the following graphs shows the quadratic function y equals 2x squared plus 8x plus 7? Well, they're all going to go through uh, the point zero 07. That doesn't help me on this one. Uh, plus 8x means it's shifted to the left. So it's not going to be A. It's shifted horizontally to the left. And it's not going to be D. All right. So opposite of B over 2A is the line of symmetry. That's opposite of 8 over 2 times 2. That's uh, negative 8 over 4, which is negative 2. Now these are both on negative 2, so I'm going to uh, negative 2 squared plus 8 times negative 2 plus 7. What I'm doing is I'm plugging in the x value, negative 2, into this equation, and I'm going to see what my y value is. Negative 2 squared is 4 times 2 is 8, minus 16 plus 7. 8 minus 16 is negative 8, plus 7 is negative 1, so the point negative 2, negative 1 is on the graph, negative 2, negative 1, and there it is, C. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video now, and I'm going to try and finish uh, the section in the next video. Thank you very much.